Namaskar. Welcome to solarfrishi.com. Today we are going to show you a very important video on how to test your soil health yourself. We know that farmers are facing lot of difficulty in getting their soil tested. It is time consuming and also it is very expensive. But while taking soil sample also farmers face lot of problems like it requires a special kind of implements. Many chances of committing error by the farmers while doing the sample. In addition to that we need the service of an expert about how to collect the soil sample. With all these things, if we get it tested, when the report comes to the hands of the farmer, it is difficult for the farmer to understand how to follow the instructions given in soil testing report. Looking at these difficulties, the soil of Krishi has come out with a very simple field testing method of soil health. You can do it yourself and you can do it very much in your own field. We have come up with five very simple soil testing methods in the field that is soil health testing. These include counting of earthworms number, counting of worms and insects other than earthworms. Third one is just observe the number of birds and the species of birds following the tract while plowing. Fourth one is just observe the biological activity in the soil. And the last and very simple one is see how the seed is germinating and how it is emerging from the soil. Let us see how to count the earthworms. After the rains when the weed seeds and others germinate and the activity of life in the soil starts. Take a look at the soil surface for the holes of the earthworms in the soil surface. You will see many holes where the earthworms are active. You will also see the waste material that is the fecal material called earthworm casts on the surface of the soil. So what you have to do is just to take a spade full of soil, spread it on a sheet of paper or polythene sheet or tarpaulin or even on the floor. Just count all earthworms including small, big, everything. Then based on that number you can judge the health of your soil. Suppose you have more than seven earthworms in that and if you see more number of earthworm holes and earthworm casts in the soil then your soil health is very good. Suppose you see only 4 to 6 worms and only few earthworm holes and casts, then your soil is relatively fair in health. Suppose you don't see any sign of earthworm activity, no holes, no worms or only one or two worms, then your soil health is poor. Next, in the same soil, one spade full of soil which you used for earthworm counting, also count other insects and millipedes, centipedes and any kind of other animals other than earthworms. In that if you see three or more species of these kind of insects and worms, your soil health is very good. If you see only one to two species, then your soil health is relatively fair. And if you don't see any insect or any other kind of worms, then your soil health is very poor. Third point is very simple, after first two three rains the farmers will go for plowing the land. Just observe the number of birds and number of types of birds following the tractor behind it while plowing. What you have to do is allow the farmer to plow the land for just half an hour or so and then start observing the number of birds. If the number of birds are more than 10 and if you see more than 3 to 4 types of birds following the tractor, then your soil health is very good. Suppose 
it is only between 6 and 10 birds and only less than 3 types of birds then your soil health is relatively fair. Suppose no birds are following or only one or two birds of the same type is following then your soil health is considered very poor. Then the fourth one is the biological activity of the soil. After few days of rains when you see that there is activity in the soil like see weed germination and the insect moving here and there take a clump of the soil in the field and just break it open in your hand and observe for white or grayish thread like structures in the soil suppose you see many white worm like thread like structures grayish or whitish or brownish then your soil health is very very good you also feel that there is life in the soil then this shows that there is good health in the soil suppose you see only very few strands of fungus mycelium and you feel there is little bit life activity in the soil then your soil health is fair enough suppose you don't see any such kind of fungal mycelial threads and you feel that the soil is looking like inert and feel no life in the soil then your soil health is very poor the last test is seed germination and seedling emergence you know after plowing when the seed bed is ready when you sow the seed there will be crust formation cake formation on the surface of the soil that creates difficulty in the seedlings to emerge so you if you see the seedlings are emerging uniformly without any difficult coming straight upward then your soil health is very good suppose you see the seedlings are facing is difficult to come out of the soil the seedlings starts bending and difficulty in uh, uniform germination in the field here and there some seeds germinate then your soil health is relatively poor relatively healthy rather and if you see very difficulty in the uh, emergence of the seedlings very uneven here and there germination is observed then your soil health is very poor then we have to see when this kind of testing has to be done the right time is after the monsoon rain starts first one or two rains then biological activity in the soil starts when you feel that it has started at that time you have to do all these tests at once and it is better if you do every year and let it be done by the same person in the family so that he will know the status of the soil perfectly suppose you see that out of five tests three and more tests are negative and you feel that your soil health is poor or relatively poor then what we suggest is you apply judicious organic manure you go for green manure and incorporate it into the soil preferably at least once a year grow any leguminous crop like pigeon pea green gram red gram black gram cow peas etc and leave all the crop residues in the soil itself and incorporate it into the soil also have a regular crop rotation change the crops after every season then as far as possible minimize the plowing of the soil now the final question is after this testing is done based on your test reports what you get how to apply the fertilizers suppose your soil health is very good then apply 25% of the fertilizer recommended for that crop less than what is recommended 10 25% less than what is recommended suppose your soil health is fair enough then apply as per the recommended fertilizer dose for that particular crop if the soil health what you judge is poor then apply only 
25% more than what is recommended for that particular crop. I hope this video is very useful to the farmer and it's a new method. Please use this opportunity and this is the monsoon beginning season, pre-monsoon time. All the farmers can test this and use this facility for improving your soil health and get the best of returns from your field. Thank you for watching this video. For any further information, contact solafkrishi.com for any information required in this regard.